from Tom Hanks' funny stories to John Cena's record-breaking wishes, but also find out about the challenges faced by stars like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck during house-hunting disagreements. These are the 20 coolest versus nastiest celebrities. Number 20, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, the famous actor, shared a funny story on The Kelly Clarkson Show about a time when a fancy restaurant's musicians played a song from his movie Big. He talked about how fans often shout lines from his films at him like, Wilson from Castaway. Kelly Clarkson even revealed that she calls sports balls in her house Wilson. In his latest film, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Hanks plays Fred Rogers. And even though he was nervous about the role, his co-stars praised him for his friendly and warm demeanor. Number 19. Jennifer Lopez Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are reportedly facing challenges while searching for their dream home. The couple, known for their recent reunion, is having trouble agreeing on a $64 million estate. Constant bickering arises from Jennifer's changing demands, leaving Ben frustrated. They had considered a property in Pacific Palisades but pulled out of a sale on another, creating uncertainty. Ben is concerned about the significant cost, given their different wealth levels, while Jennifer insists on finding the perfect Hollywood castle. Number 18. Keanu Reeves One time, he gave up his seat on the subway to a lady with a heavy bag, and everyone thought it was super sweet. When he takes pictures with fans, he doesn't touch them too much, making sure they feel comfortable. At a big show, when a fan yelled that Keanu was breathtaking, he replied, You're all breathtaking! That made everyone love him even more. There's also a story where he signed a fan's poster and even jumped out of his car to do it. Another time, he bought ice cream to give a young fan his autograph on a receipt. Recently, Keanu organized a memorable trip for his friends, paying for a private jet, hotel rooms, and even a brunch. His friends say he's epic and incredibly generous. Number 17. Hugh Jackman Hugh Jackman, the actor who played Wolverine, is known for being nice to his fans. In a story, he took the time to help someone who looked lost in Central Park. He chatted with the person, even flagged down a taxi for them, and made them feel important. This kind and friendly behavior turned the person into a fan for life. Hugh Jackman's actions show that being supportive and welcoming can make a big difference, making him not just a great actor, but also a lovely person to his fans. Number 16. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen faced allegations in 2020 that she created a toxic work environment for staff on her talk show, which led to some perceiving her public persona as being at odds with how she treats others privately. However, the details and merits of the allegations have been disputed. Number 15. Taylor Swift Taylor, the fantastic singer we love, is not just a superstar on stage, but also a big-hearted person off stage. She became super wealthy by making incredible music, going on fantastic tours, and selling lots of records. This year, she earned almost $2 billion. Can you imagine that? She owns fancy houses in different places and even has two private jets. But what's remarkable is how generous she is. Taylor loves to help others and has given lots of money to charities and people who need it. She's like a real-life superhero. She surprises her fans with unique gifts and even helps one fan with their student loans. Number 14. Gwyneth Paltrow Gwyneth, the person behind Goop, recently defended her company in a podcast interview. She feels the criticism her brand receives is deeply unfair. Goop, known for promoting unique products, has faced mockery and accusations of using deceptive language. Paltrow insists that Goop is just sharing information, not giving advice or endorsements. However, some critics argue that selling products in the Goop store goes beyond being informational. Paltrow believes some people criticize Goop for attention. Despite the controversy, she stands firm, saying, We're very clear about what we're doing, and we stand behind everything we do. Number 13. Dwayne Johnson Dwayne, who we know as a strong and excellent actor, recently talked about being famous. He explained that being famous can be a bit tricky, but he feels grateful for it. He shared a video from the gym where he said that he's been lucky to be famous for a long time. He remembers when things were tough and he couldn't even pay rent. But now he sees no drawbacks to being famous because it's better than the tough times he faced before. He believes that being grateful and remembering where he came from helps him stay balanced and keeps him motivated. Dwayne encourages everyone to find balance and stay humble, sharing a quote that says, When you're great at something, others will notice. Number 12. Alec Baldwin Alec, who became famous as a Hollywood actor and later as a media mogul, is in the news again. But not for a movie role this time. 
Recently, he accidentally fired a prop gun on a movie set, leading to a tragic incident where a cinematographer lost her life. Baldwin has been no stranger to controversies throughout his career, having been involved in various arguments, lawsuits, and altercations. In 2007, he left a voicemail that caused a stir, and he has faced assault accusations in different incidents involving paparazzi. Number 11, Chrissy Teigen. Guess what? The fantastic couple, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, who we know and love, did something super cool. They donated a whopping $200,000 to a special fund called the Times Up Legal Defense Fund. This fund helps people who have faced callous times because of something called sexual violence. John and Chrissy wanted to help the brave gymnasts from the USA Olympic team, so they gave this enormous amount of money to make things better. They are not the only ones being awesome. Lots of other famous people like Meryl Streep, Reese Witherspoon, and even Jessica and Justin Timberlake have given money too. John and Chrissy are excellent and have helped others before, like giving money to a place called Planned Parenthood and helping a girl go to a beauty school. Number 10, Christian Bale. Back in 2009, before a movie called Terminator Salvation came out, there was a big fuss about Christian Bale, the leading actor in the film. Someone secretly recorded him having a furious outburst on the set while filming in New Mexico. He got distraught with the person in charge of the lights, and the recording caught him saying a lot of bad words and threatening to quit the movie if things didn't change. People were not happy with Bale after that. But he later said sorry and made up with the person he was mad at. Number 9. John Cena Do you know John Cena, the fabulous WWE superstar? Well, guess what? He's like a real-life superhero, too. He just got into the Guinness Book of World Records because he made more than 650 wishes come true for kids who aren't feeling well. That's a lot. No one else has done that many. John Cena started doing this amazing thing in 2002, and he's been the most requested celebrity by Make-A-Wish since then. He loves making kids happy and even granted the 1,000th wish in 2012. Number 8. Jared Leto Jared Leto, who's known for his roles in movies and as a singer, sometimes does exciting things to get ready for his roles. For his new film Morbius, where he plays a scientist turning into a vampire, he did something unusual. He pretended to have a hard time walking, even using crutches and a wheelchair when he didn't need to. The director of the movie, Daniel Espinosa, confirmed that this was true. It's because Jared Leto believes that feeling some pain helps him act better especially since his character in the movie has a blood disease. Number 7, Ryan Reynolds. Well, he's not just making us laugh on the screen. He's also getting a special award for being super kind and generous. The Canadian Academy gave him the Humanitarian Award because he's been helping a lot of people and giving money to charities. He supported a water charity, helped families from Ukraine, and even offered to a food bank in Vancouver. Plus, he started groups to help more people get into excellent jobs like his in the movie business. Number 6. Emma Stone You know Cameron Crowe, the movie director? Well, he said sorry for making a mistake in a movie called Aloha. People were upset because he cast a white actor, Emma Stone, to play a character who was supposed to be part Asian and part Hawaiian. Cameron apologized and said he understood why people felt disappointed. He explained that he based the character on a natural person he knew, but he took the blame for the casting choice. He also mentioned that he's proud they had many Asian American and Pacific Islander people working on the movie to make it authentic. Number 5. Ed Sheeran There was this couple who were huge fans of Ed, and they even danced to his song Put It All On Me at their wedding. Guess what? Ed surprised them on the streets of New York City, and they were so excited. They shared how they love Ed, Harry Potter, and Candy, and that's how they became a couple. Ed found out they were expecting a baby soon, and he gave them some sweet advice. He said, Month four, it gets easier, and told them that no one gets everything right. Number four, Selena Gomez. Did you know Selena, the fantastic singer and actor, got a special award for being kind and helping people with their feelings? She talks openly about her struggles with mental health, like anxiety and depression. Selena wants to make sure everyone, no matter who they are, can get help for their feelings. She even started a fund called Rare Impact to support mental health services and education for young people. Selena believes that by sharing her story, she can help others feel less alone. Number 3. Katherine Heigl Katherine has acted in TV shows and movies, shared about facing some tough times when people called her difficult or unprofessional in Hollywood. She felt this way especially after expressing her thoughts about a movie she was in and later pulling out of an award competition. 
The negativity affected her a lot, making her feel anxious and even seeking help from a therapist. Now, at 42, she understands that having opinions doesn't make her difficult. She encourages being ambitious and having big dreams, feeling happier and gentler with herself. Number 2. Anne Hathaway Anne is a talented actor, has faced unwarranted criticism from some people, often referred to as Hatha haters. Despite her remarkable acting skills showcased in various roles, she became a target, not for professional reasons but due to her personality. Anne's controlled and confident demeanor, developed through years in the industry, led to perceptions of insincerity or arrogance. Some incidents, like her Oscar speech, fueled negativity. However, Anne Hathaway remains true to herself with a bright and vibrant personality. Number 1. Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi is known to be aggressive, boisterous, and confrontational. Previously, she wrongly argued that the Holocaust was not about race, which upset the Jewish community. She also publicly supported people who were known for beating their wives and picked fights with some of her co-hosts. In a particularly volatile situation, she started an argument and kicked a guest off her show. According to witnesses, here is a summary of the situation when Whoopi Goldberg had Judge Jeanine Pirro removed from The View. Judge Pirro was invited as a guest on The View to discuss her latest book. During the show, Whoopi and Pirro got into a heated exchange about political issues like Trump and immigration. According to video footage and accounts, Whoopi strongly pushed back on Pirro's defense of Trump's policies. Their exchange escalated in tone as they spoke over each another. Eventually, Whoopi told Pirro, Goodbye, I'm done, as the show cut to commercial break. After the break, Pirro was no longer on stage, and Whoopi apologized to the audience, explaining that Pirro had to go, and they'll be right back. Behind the scenes, there was allegedly a verbal altercation between the two women backstage with raised voices. Accounts vary, but some reports claim Whoopi used profanity towards Pirro and told her to leave the building. Pirro stated she was kicked off the show. Later, Whoopi explained that she made the call for Pirro to leave because she felt Pirro's position could not be tolerated. Pirro did interviews afterward accusing Whoopi of abusive behavior, foul language, and threatening gestures, including saying, Get the fucked out of here! What do you think? Is this what a bully would do? Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to us. Take care until the next one, and feel free to drop a comment sharing your thoughts. See you soon!